Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Bottom left hand corner, we have Terra starting as the pink Terran. Bottom right hand corner, we have Zeke starting as the blue Zerg. This is Fighting Spirit Mania set one, game four. Thus far, Terra up 2 1 over Zeke with some aggressive play. Aya, aya, out in chat world for the live streamers. Overlord slowly making its way bottom left hand corner to give Zeke the first scout. I'm wondering, now being in a bottom left hand corner rather than the upper right hand corner for Terror, if he is going to opt for a different style of build order. And it looks like, yeah, he likes going for the four racks fold over into the plus one weapons, which, man, that creates so many Marines so rapidly. I can see where that would potentially be. I don't. What's unusual is, is oftentimes when I see other Terran try to play that build, it feels like there are gaps where there's just not a lot of Marines on the front to defend against potential Zergling attacks. But the way Terror executes it just seems to have sufficient defenses all the way around. So I'm going to say take notes of the Terran players. Take notes of your elders. Is it weird to, or I guess people with your more, your higher MMR? Great play. Overlord slow, slowly making its way, and it looks like, yeah, this time we are just going to go for a front door seal. Overlord should scout it. Zeke opting to go for a 12th hatch once again. I know a lot of Zerg feel that if you open up 9 pool or over pool or something like that, you're already starting from an uh, economic deficit. Did the over? I think the Overlord might have scouted just the edge of that SCV, potentially. And there are times where that Overlord can kind of scout the edge of that and pull out of position and prevent getting scouted. This time, not going to do so. Looks like an SCV is already on the way, regardless, to confirm the forward location. The drone going to peel off. After the aggression in the first two matches, <laughs> the drone wants to make sure he gets an eye on how many Marines are being produced. Spawning pool. An extractor on the way, and this was a... I think that was a little bit of an early extractor. Because <clears throat> it's going to finish here at the 2.30 mark. Drone trying to do what damage it... Or sorry, SCV trying to do what damage it can. Drone able to peck away a little bit. Drone actually able to go ahead and wander all the way up into the main. Confirm a lack of gas, so there's not going to be a pushback to mech. I'm just going to wander around and try to be annoying. Ooh, wants to stay alive for a while, so doing the gas steal trick. So you don't actually steal the gas, you, you do delay it for a little while, and wow, an immediate move into command center. I guess that's expected upon seeing the 12th hatch. But you get your, you get to stay alive a little bit longer. So you can kind of, you get the scouting information, then you can cancel, and then you have the drone uh, that can go ahead and still have 50 health, and you maybe, sometimes you can skirt down and get the additional information. Oh, he didn't cancel it! So didn't cancel it, leaves the extractor, Interesting. So barracks plopping down. So gonna slow down a little bit of gas, at the very least. And Zeke already halfway towards the lair. This is gonna force Terror to well let's see if Terror ops. That's gonna that did slow down his gas supply. Kind of an interesting little thing I haven't seen. It's like the uh, I don't know what to call that. It's like channeling his inner Protoss with that play with the gas deal. I wonder if Terror is still going to opt. He's got the two barracks in production. Yeah, I'm looking for him to go just for more standard play, two racks academy. And we'll see how Zeke deals with this. The Spire already on the way. Six Marines on the front. And then it's gonna, this actually might, considering how quickly Zeke's getting these Mutalisks out, and how delayed this academy was because of the gas deal. He might get... He actually might end up with these Mutalisks in his opponent's base well before... First of all, range is finished, but it's going to take a while. Like, might end up right there just as Stimpak's finishing. With the timing of everything, Zergling's scooching out just to make sure that nothing's been scouted. There have been no movements. I kind of like Zeke's diligence this time. He's like, let me make sure there's no SCV scouts before I go ahead and plant this time. But yeah, there, there's Stimpak. 
And you can see basically at, so uh, my timing's way off. As the stim pack is just about to finish, the mutalists are already going to be in production. So I don't know. We'll see how this plays out. I'm trying to, I need to get better at just like the general timings of Terran stuff. So I can be like, ah, the usual timing is this. I know it by heart, but I do not because I am not a Terran player. Maybe I should start doing that. Do F to S with just like Terra Terran, terrible Terran. True F to S with my level of play. Anyway, Evolution Chamber being dro dropped. Medic Marines actually moving out. Ziki, and for all of my talk, Terra is now pressing the front. And it looks like the Sun Colony is not going to be there in time. I think Ziki with that gas deal was thinking what I was, he was so concerned about that. Cancellation drones trying to get in the way. Marines pressing through. Drones actually needing to come off the line. The Mutalisks now spawned under fire. That's going to get wiped out, and this might be a quick one for my own sake. Okay, yeah, so Stim finishes. Five mules in the air. Zerglings need to be produced underneath this to provide some support. But natural expansion damaged. Jeez. Terra is so good. How did he know that that timing was there to go ahead and get in? But nice defense from Ziki to turn a bad situation into not a into at least not a game ending situation. Mutalisks now free in flight. Terra getting his turrets up. So with that aggression, that buys him time to go ahead and establish some turrets. Range now along the way with plus one weapons, building a lot of turrets to defend against this. Ziki delayed with all of that. I think having to build panic mutalisks. Now grabbing that base in the upper right hand corner. The mutalisks wandering in. But yeah, all I all I can find is this exposed supply depot. Keep in mind with that medic marine wipe though, these mulesks do at least control the map for this for momentarily here. Terror stimming forward. Able to pick off a mutalisk. Running into Ziki's attack. Supply depot down. Which actually. Doesn't supply block terror, but it, you know, it's annoying. And it opens up that natural expansion. It's got to make you feel a little bit nervous against any Zerg, particularly uh, Zeki. Plus one weapons is being upgraded. It's going to be a while before that third gas comes online. So Zeki, where I, where I want to say like, oh yeah, you, you should go ahead and be aggressive and stymie the, acad uh, the economy of terror. Terror dropped so many turrets in kind of a turnaround panic defense. So how many, this is so many turrets. You got three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine turrets. I think he's done a sufficient job slowing down the economy in turret defense alone. However, big, I'm wondering if Ziki feels more pressure. Third base has now been comp said feels more pressure because of how late this third hatchery was built. And the fact that he needs to go ahead and yeah, reestablish his sunken line defenses. Trip picked off on the corner. Gets a wow, gets a mutalisk for it. You could hear the death there. Medic Marines now pushing out while Ziki is distracted. Nothing on the front to see those Marines marching their way across. And this might be another situation where Terror able to use Ziki's lack of vision against him. Walk up into that upright and corner and wipe out that hatchery once again. Ziki continuing to try to press in. He does have nine mutalisks, which means he can two-shot turrets if he if there's no repair in between. And he lands all of those shots. But while he's going for this aggressive attack here, potentially game-ending damage moving into that upper right-hand base. And Ziki now finding it, and his mutalisks completely across the map. So drones didn't even get a taste of minerals. Those poor drones. That hatchery going to get wiped out, and I think this is going to put Ziki all in with Mutalisks. Continuing to build Mutalisks now. He does have... It looks like he's got that Hydro Den. Honestly, I cancel the Hydro Den go like, you know what? We got to win this on 2 hatch Muta from here. More turrets being built. So perhaps Terra anticipating the situation. Saying, you know what? I know that I'm going to be able to... There's no way though, right? That, that would just be too next level. Where he's like, I know I'm going to be able to take out this third. Force him into 2 hatch Mutalisks. So let me just plop down all the turrets now. That would be a little bit too next level for my for my taste. Science vessel on the way. Irradiate will be able to shut a lot of this down, and then Ziki's in a lot of trouble. 
Looks like he's dropping the Queen's Nest. Is just going to try to get it done on two gas. Mutalus pressing up. More Mutas taking damage. And keep in mind, he needs to preserve the Mutalus as best he can because Mutalus are gas expensive and he cannot afford to replace them here. Plus one weapons online. It looks like both... Honestly, these Mutalus looks, uh, the Mutalus look beleaguered, as do the Marines. This Medic Marine grouping making their way back. Science Vessel out in the field does have enough energy for a Radiate. A Radiate not quite researched yet. But as soon as a Radiate's finished going to be a huge turnaround in momentum in Terra's favor. So many turrets right now. Four Sutton Colonies on the front. Desperation, Queen's Nest. Move toward... So this is Zeke, I think, just trying to do what he can to stay in the match. Mutalus moving to the north. SEV moving out to go ahead and scout and get eyes? Is, is that to watch them or just to go ahead and grab a third? Medic Marine, sorry, just Marines hanging out, taking out additional Mutalisks. Plus one weapons is finished. Evolution Chamber being dropped. Hive now. So Zeke pocketing a drone, hoping to go ahead and take that base. A Radiate now plop. The Mule's trying to split, but it's a challenge to split Mutalisks. When you do, I like how Terra does this, is not only does he drop the Radiate, he presses the Marines into the Mutaball when that happens which means he can't just sit, stop his Mutalisks and then pick out the irradiated one and move, move it back around. He has to be more dedicated with it. Siege Tank now taking the field. Not going to be long before there's another irradiate. Looks like there's already another irradiate waiting. Mutalisks is diving in, trying to get... Yeah, just trying to force the Medic Marines back. Another Science Vessel popping out. Is it going to drop a radiate before it gets picked off? There we go. Enough energy to do it there. And now these Mutalisks are extremely damaged. SCV trying to scoot out. Make sure a third base hasn't been ninja grabbed. Third hatchery up. The filer bound is at least up. And now I'm like, has ZE done it? So he's got his defiler mound up. Working on consume. He's got lurkers to the six o'clock location. Three science vessels, a siege tank. Decent supply lead for Terror. Kind of patiently playing this at this stage. You can go ahead and press towards that front. The medic's getting a little bit separated from the rest of that marine force. And these mutals, honestly, are just going to be uh, kind of a, a side defense. Overlord not getting picked off open field. The mutalisks continuing to be hunted. Zerling's able to pick off a siege tank. Small mercies here. For Zeke, Medic Marine Ball pushing in. Another Creek Colony dropped. Buying time. Similar situation to game one, but there's no third base behind this. And honestly, I don't know that Zeke can defend. So he's going to go for a counterattack. Pushing in with the Lurkers and the Mutalisks to the natural expansion. Wow, Zeke's actually doing it. Lurkers moving into the natural. Siege Tank having to siege up on the high ground. And Lurker is getting some disruption while Terra is diving into the natural expansion. Another Sutton Colony being built on the front. Terra not even bothering to micro those, I do not believe. SCVs wiped out, dropping Terra down to a, an equivalent worker count of Zeke. The Siege Tank's been wiped out. Still three Sutton Colonies on the front, so Zeke can now hold. He's got his third base up. He does not have three gas yet. Still needs to worry about that Science Vessel count but has managed to get Defiler Mound up. Do serious economic damage to Terror. And push Terror off his front. Are you kidding me? Science Vessel's in position. This three clock base still very exposed. Science Vessel taken out there. There's, yeah, I don't think Zeke can defend this was kind of the problem. Moving in, going to try to wipe out what ground forces he can. Maybe try to take this as an afterthought. But here's the thing. He does have defilers. He does have lurkers. He might be able to push this back out. He has done serious economic damage to terror. So potentially, 
can make a match of this. It looks like he doesn't want to bother going for a third. He wants to get Defilers and Lurkers into Terra's natural expansion, try to get a game win from there. Science Vessel radiating one Defiler, but there's two Defilers in position. Siege Tank's grouping up and backing out. Terra moving that army, sweeping it to the north to try to force a larger expenditure and buy some time for those science vessels to go ahead and drop continuing irradiates. It looks like that defiler killed by the splash damage of the siege tanks underneath this. Zerglings peeling forward. Firebats covering the rest of the ground. Zeke still on two bases. As additional defilers doing their kind of booty swaggle there. Plague has been upgraded. Softening up the Medic Marines on the front, but it looks like Terror able to reestablish his bases. Has some fire bats here, still has the siege tanks. Just needs to maintain that science vessel count. Six barracks running and that factory. Zeke once again trying to grab that three o'clock base. Right now, the 17 minute mark looming where both players are going to be potentially hurting for minerals, the Medic Marines being swept midfield. The Siege Tanks slowly peeling forward, separated from Medic Marine forces. So at risk of getting picked off here. Slowly, yeah, slow playing it here. Scourge finding exposed science vessels, both of them getting wiped out, and again, Zeke buying himself some time. More Zerglings, more Defilers starting to move out. Additional macro hatches have been plopped down. So we're looking at four hatchery off two base. Maybe if he can get this up, get this night, as Zeke wholesale trying to engage, keep Terror off his natural expansion. Firebats are there in sufficient numbers to wipe out the Lurkers even under Swarm. And now Terror pressing up to that natural expansion. He's also split off a Medic Marine grouping to go ahead and hunt down Zeke's third. Plague dropped on the front. A sweep of Consume. Zerglings able to at least get in to engage. The fire bats not long for life with that play getting picked off one at a time, but the three sea shanks still standing right this moment, but they're under swarm and the Zerglings gonna be able to wipe them out. In the meantime, Terror at the three o'clock location, once again, taking out this hatchery, preventing a third base. Relentlessly taking this base out. Not a good day for drones at the three o'clock location. Additional plagues being dropped, but Terror staying on top of his macro. He's in a better position by far to take his third. Zeke now going for a desperation hatchery at the 11 o'clock location and a drop at the main. Firebat's taken care of. The Zergling's trying to sweep in. The Scourge going to be able to go ahead and take out that dropship. So cleaning this up, but not before. Several drones taken out. Zeke, his economy is crippled. Double Evolution Chamber needs to get drones out rapidly to just stay... I'm not even gonna say stay relevant to be able to just produce units. Still has to worry about tear barreling into his natural expansion. Swarm dropped, plague dropped. The Zerglings able to chomp through. Medic brings another science vessel down. Zeke with just handfuls of tag forces, just beautiful orchestration, wiping out Medic Marines just to keep in this match, just seems to be able to do it with the exact amount of troops that are required. 
to mitigate the pressure on his natural. Hatchery up at the 11 o'clock position. Maybe a game winning hatchery if Terra can, if he can keep Terra from wiping him out in the next couple minutes, but that is going to be a tall order. Terra with near double the supply, pressing forward into the natural, fire bats there. No plague this time. Firebats on top of the sunken colonies. Marines wiping them out rapidly. And this is the GG moment. Zeke doing everything to try to stay in that. But Terror, unrelenting, just feels like a... Almost reminds me of like one of those bomber crews or something. Or, you know, it's like a fighter pilot where he's like marking the enemies he's defeated. Just marking the hatcheries that have been taken down. Unrelenting attacks. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.